Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I really wanted to talk about Star Stable nostalgia, and in case you don't know what I mean by that, basically, we're gonna be taking a look at the old Star Stable. So basically, I'm gonna show you the old website, the old loading screen areas before they were updated, which is the most exciting part of this video because you can really see the way Star Stable has grown in those pictures. So yeah, I am really excited to make this video. I came up with this idea a few days ago, and I know it's not new, but I really wanted to do this. So I'm really excited and I hope you are just as excited as I am. So you know what? Without any further ado, let's just jump straight into some Star Stable nostalgia. The first thing I wanted to do was go back to the old website and this is the website from 2012, you guys. I can scroll down if you want me to. This is what it looks like. I can't click on anything like play now, I think, because it's a snapshot. This is the Wayback Machine. I will put a link down below if you want to try it out yourself. And look how cool this looks! Like this background, my god, this is real nostalgia. We have the offers for Star Rider, we have an explanation on our world, and so far they only had Moreland, Fort Pinta, Veildale, and some other areas. They did not have Epona, they didn't have Mistfall, they didn't have Dino Valley. That all came from of 2015, 2017, 2019. This is from 2012. And this is insane! They also used to have this separate section for parents, which I think is a really great thing. I don't know if they still have it, but that would be really helpful for parents. They also used to have the Yorvik Gazette, and then we have Mrs. Holtzworth reading the Yorvik Gazette. Basically, in this little paper, every single time a new update was released, it was explained in the Yorvik Gazette, and honestly, why don't they bring it back? That was so cool. Down here, we have an explanation as to what the game is, and it's says, Star Stable is a spectacular online horse game built specially for those with a passion for horses and games. It is not only a girls game or just a game for girls, but can be enjoyed by everyone. It is a so-called MMORPG, which means massively multiplayer online role-playing game, and can mostly be described as an enormous role-playing horse game for large numbers of players to enjoy together online. This means that hundreds, if not thousands, of players can play, chat, and help each other through the challenges and horse adventures Star Stable has to offer. That sounds really intriguing. Star Stable already knew how to market back in 2012. That's insane. Moving on to the website from 2014. A lot of you guys may remember this as well. I personally started playing in 2013 and I actually remember the previous one too. But anyway, this is from 2014 and yes, this was so good. I love this. I remember these pictures vividly. They do not represent the game at all, but they did look very, very cool. Cool. Moving on to the website from 2018, two years later, this is what the website looked like. And you may think that this is what the website looks like today, but it actually looks a little bit more different today. I'm going to show you the one from right now as well in this video, but this is the one from 2018. So here we have the play now button with a horse game full of adventures in this big picture, Jojo Siwa, which who remembers that? Down here we have the trailer to the game as well as four little tabs with a little explanation on what you can do in the game. Then we have the news section on the website. Also their apps section, which they already had Star Stable Horses and Star Stable Friends back in 2018. Then we have the Star Rider offers in USD. So I'm assuming these are American screenshots and yeah, that is basically it. So now that you've seen this one as well, let's go to the website from today so we can fully grasp the evolution the website went through. This is what the website looks like today and you can definitely see there's a lot more color. These buttons are no longer rectangular, but they are kind of rounded. They have rounded corners and it's just a lot more colorful. The trailer video has changed as well. The fonts over here in the pictures have changed as well. And then obviously, this whole section here has changed as well. The layout is the same, but it's definitely more clean, and I really love the website from today, but it was so, so nice looking at the different websites over the years. Of course, how could I not include the old loading screen with the cat on it? This was such an iconic thing in the Star Stable community all the way back then, and I'm actually still sad that they removed it because this still holds such a special place in my heart. 
heart. If you recognize this, let me know down below in the comments because if you do, you're an oldie but a goodie and I love you for that. Also, let me know if you missed this and would like to see it make a comeback to Star Sable, maybe as an April Fool's joke or something because I love this and I miss this so much. Star Sable even made this meme about the cat they told you not to worry about versus you, and I thought that was so funny, but at the same time, we want the old cat back. The you in this picture was way better. We want it back. <laughs> then we have the old home stables, and these were literally my life. Does anyone remember the island where you could put your horse and it would be happy forever? Well, I used to put all my horses on that island because I was just way too lazy to take care of them, even though I only had three horses, you know, I'm that type of lazy, but that was so amazing. Now if you put your horse in the pasture, it just becomes sad anyway, and I don't know, I wish they would bring back that system. I remember being really sad about the fact that that was no longer a thing, like keeping your horses happy by putting them in the pasture or like sending them away to the island. I don't know, I really miss that. That. that was super helpful. Next up, let's talk about what Moreland looked like before the update from a few years ago. So one big thing that you immediately notice is that the big area right next to the whole intro part is closed up and it is no longer closed up. It still has some fences around it, but you can just jump over the fences now and you could not jump over that wall back then. Moreland is just way more open right now and it's a lot more welcoming and I love Moreland right now. It's one of my favorite areas, but back then, I didn't really like Moreland because I felt like other areas were much more beautiful, but I have to say, Star Stable did do Moreland some justice with the new update. Of course, Moreland is a very special place for all of us because this is where the story begins, you guys. This old village, the old version, still has a very special place in my heart, but I definitely think I preferred the updated version. Then we have Fort Pinta, and in the upper picture you can see the before, and in the lower picture you can see the after. I found this on Google, so credits to whoever this is from. It was from Twitter, I believe. And oh my goodness, I loved the one before, but I also love the one after. I think they're equally as beautiful. Of course, the one after is more Star Stables' style. However, they didn't really change the building around it, if you look very closely. I also found this picture over here, and I feel like this represents the way it looked back then a little better. Obviously, it's kind of blurry and foggy, but at the same time, you guys, look at this. This is the real Star Stable nostalgia. Also, does anyone remember how you could glitch into one of the stores in the building you see on this picture over here. I found that such a cool thing and it became such a meme with me and my friends. I was always like, I sell milk and I found myself so funny, even though looking back right now, it's not even that funny. But that is what this picture makes me think of and I feel really good thinking back to those moments because what a throwback. After reminiscing about some old things about the game, let's now take a look at some older breeds from all the way back in 2015, 2014, and just the older breeds in Star Stable that are still available. I am going to go into my pasture and take a look if I can find some horses that I have from all the way back in 2016, 2015 to show you. I just picked six horses, which I really want to show you. And the first one is in the first stall on the right. Right there we have Summer Flame, which is an old model North Swedish horse. You guys need to see this. I remember this horse being one of my favorite horses all the way back then. On my previous channel, which is still up by the way, it's my SSO name, I used this horse to do a series with called Free Riding, in which I basically just played the game, but without a bridle. It was so stupid. But this horse used to be my favorite horse all the way back then, and I think that was in 2015, and oh my goodness, this horse is so old. I still really love the rear on this one. I don't know why, but the rear is really nice. But all the rest is just, look at the head of the horse when it's walking, it's so funny. It looks like he's bopping to music or something. It looks really, really funny. Okay, let's now move on to another horse that is very, very old to me, and that is my Jorvik pony called Mini Magic. I bought this horse all the way back in 2015 as well, I think. These two horses were some of my very, very first 
horses and look at this Jorvik pony. Oh my god, it's so cute though. I hate to say this, but I feel like the gates on the old model Jorvik pony are actually better than the ones on the new model because in case you did not know, I actually really dislike the gates on the new model. I can't help it. Anyway, let's move on to an old model and illusion. This is Opal Mist and I really wanted to get an old model and illusion back then because I don't know, I just really wanted to get one for when they updated them, I could do like a comparison video, but really these are just like the old model Frisians but in different coat colors. The horse's head is like bopping again, I don't know, I find these animations so funny because I don't know, it just looks funny. The new model Andalusian is my favorite breed ever, so I mean, it really shows how much Star Stable has evolved from this all the way to the new model Andalusians. Moving on to the previous starter model, I don't have a horse that has the very old starter model anymore because they kind of removed it from the game, but this one over here is I believe the second or third update on the starter horse models. This is my Celle Francais and I really really wish they update this breed soon because I love this coat color and I would love to get it on an updated model because Star Stables' models and their coats have been amazing recently. This used to be one of my favorite horses and I still really love this horse to this day. So yeah, I just really like that horse. It has dapples too and you guys know dapples are a win in my book. Moving on to the old model Fjords, which they have removed from the game, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, let's go into the stable and mount this horse. This is the lighter one and I have loved this one since the day I found out you could buy Fjord horses. These horses are really pretty and I still actually really love these models. I wouldn't necessarily ride them today but they're not as bad as you would think for a horse that's like five years old. I'm not kidding. And then last but not least I also wanted to show you the previous American Quarter Horse model. This one over here is the the very first horse model that Star Stable did that was different to the starter horse model, I think. Actually, I have to correct myself right there because this is the first horse that belonged to the 1.5 horse generation. The other ones all belonged to the first horse generation. And with that being said, those are six old model horses I really wanted to show you. We have come to the end of today's video and I want to thank you so, so much for watching today. In case you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you would like to see more videos of mine, that is possible. All you have to do is go ahead and subscribe down below as well as turn on your notifications so you'll never miss out on any videos I post. And with that being said, I really hope I'll see you back on Wednesday with a brand new update video. And until then, have a great week, you guys. Until then, bye!